All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. Listen, reunited and it feels so good. The Oklahoma City Thunder has traded Russell Westbrook to the Houston Rockets for Chris Paul and uh, and a couple of picks, man. They're going to get the 2024 pick, 2026 pick, and they're going to swap picks in 2021 and 2025. Hey, listen. I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm just going to get right to the meat of it. I'm not going to sit here, BS you anything. I don't know how this is going to work. You got two guys. You have two dogs. And uh, they both play, uh, you know, but you got one guy that ain't going to play no defense. And then you have you have Westbrook. He gonna, he'll, he'll play defense. But, uh, bro, I don't know how this is going to work. I just really have absolutely no clue how this is going to work. Both of them are ball dominant. Both of them require the ball to be effective. I, I, it, bro, I don't know how this is going to work. I understand the move from an OKC standpoint. I don't even know if they're going to try to keep Chris Paul because they're, they're swapping. They, they pretty much swap uh, players just to just to make the money match up. I don't know if they're going to amnesty Chris Paul, if they're going to cut him, he's going to try to go to the Lakers or something like that, and uh, we'll finally get what we should have gotten like in, in 2005, I think it was, 2008, 2009, when they were going to try to trade Chris Paul. And then the NBA blocked it because the NBA owns the Pelicans. Or if we're going to have something, or if the Oklahoma City Thunder is just going to keep him. I couldn't see them trying to keep him just because of the fact that they're trying to rebuild. So they're trying to get as butt naked as possible. And you really don't want to make the salary match up. They wanted to unload some salary. So maybe they're going to uh, maybe they're gonna buy Chris Paul out of his contract at a lower price. And then Chris Paul will go play for somebody else. Um, or maybe they want him to stay there and be part of the re building process, but normally when you try to rebuild, you want to get as butt naked as possible. You don't want to sit there and try to have somebody that's going to help you win games. You know what I'm saying? You got to be fully committed to the tank, a la Philadelphia, and then you can get yourself a Ben Simmons and then B, and then, uh, and, you know, and some good young players and, and, and get a good nucleus going. But I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments. I mean, Russell Westbrook said he wanted to go be out. He said he wanted to be on a contender. He's on a contender. Um... I just don't see how this works. Like, Chris Paul is pretty ball dominant, but he doesn't have to be ball dominant because he will facilitate. But at the same time, if it didn't really work with Chris Paul and, and James Harden, how is this going to work? Now, I guess we can say that three years ago, I mean, two years ago, um, well, last year, if Chris Paul didn't hurt his quad, then they go to game seven and they beat the Golden State Warriors and then who knows what happens in the finals. But... With Russell Westbrook, I guess they definitely beat him. But with Russell Westbrook, do they even get that far? Because who's going to take the back seat? Somebody has to take the back seat. I don't know, man. All I know is that Beast Mode is activated. These guys are, uh, hey, I can't even really say anything. Like, I don't, I can't say anybody's batting, swinging for the fences, going for the goal. I can't say anything. I am dumbfounded. I really don't even know what this means other than Westbrook is, like, he's definitely on a contender. They definitely not. They definitely won't get a first round exit because of the fact that uh, that the Houston Rockets hadn't been out in the first round. But at the same time, I just don't know how far this gets you. Like I've said, I I love Russell Westbrook. I think he's a hell of a player. He will be in the Hall of Fame. But his game doesn't help any other team get anywhere. And and I would guess you could say the same thing for James Harden. And he figured it out to some degree. But hey, when they triple double and triple team in Harden. And Harden actually passes the ball. At least you got somebody that can get to the rim like that, lightning quick, and, and do something. But, hey, we're going to see, man. Y'all let me know in the comments how you guys think it's going to work out. Uh, like I said, didn't edit this video. Uh, we're just going to do it straight up uh, and raw, butt naked, just like we always have. But uh, I'm out of here, man. Y'all holler at me next time. Till next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! Make sure you subscribe to the channel because nobody can get this news out faster than I can unless they live streaming. And I'm out. Make sure you comment, too, because that helps the channel grow. Like the video, share the video, and all that good stuff. And I'm out. Peace.